Hello lovelies and welcome back to the channel. It's Rogina here and today I'm sharing how I clean my top load washing machine. Yes, this bad boy is gross. We've had it for like six years, I think, and I've never deep cleaned it. So you are going to see some icky stuff in this video. So here is the before shot. There is dirt and dust and it's stuck on um, laundry detergent and all kinds of stuff. There's a ring around the agitator. There's dirt and dust and just grimy stuff around the um basin so we are going to get all of that clean today so first you want to start out adding four cups of bleach to the largest longest hottest cycle that your washing machine can run so i have a whirlpool and the largest setting is extra large i have it on hot and i have it on heavy um, cycle so you're going to let your washing machine fill up and then let it agitate for about two or three minutes and pause your washing machine. Now you just want to let your washing machine sit for about two to four hours just to give the Clorox time to break down some of that um, laundry soap and fabric softener and all of that good stuff. After those two hours, you want to go ahead and start your washing machine again so it can finish a complete cycle and then it's time to do this all over again with vinegar i'm going to repeat those same steps hottest um water temperature largest load longest cycle but this time i'm adding four cups of vinegar and during this cycle i'm going to actually whip out my cleaning toothbrush so i can get all of that dust and dirt from like the corners of the lid and all around the bleach dispenser and fabric softener out do you ever pick up from that phone? Stop pretending I don't know your home. I guess not. Do you ever respond? Explain it all again, again, again. Tell me why you don't wanna be friends. I guess not. Baby, no, I don't wanna go. You know how much I hate sleeping alone. I can never make it on my own. And this did take a little while because like I said before, I hadn't deep cleaned this washing machine since we've had it and we've had it, I know, at least six years. So there was a lot of fabric softener built up in the fabric softener uh, dispenser. There was a lot of uh, dirt and dust and um, just lint from like the dryer and from clothes and stuff like that. Um, there was a lot of soap build up like around the lid where, you know, you pour the um, laundry detergent in there and it kind of like waste inside of the lid and it was never cleaned up. So <laughs> there was a lot going on in this washing machine. Baby, no, I don't want to go. You know how much I hate sleeping alone. I can never make it on my own.
So while my washing machine is filling up, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the agitator and I'm gonna clean the fabric softener dispenser. And also I'm gonna clean around the rim of the drum. Mine kind of like floats inside of the um, box so you can move the drum back and forth to clean around it. That I'm lying to. And this is what the washing machine looked like after about five minutes of me letting it um, agitate. That is not any new soap that was added. That is all of like the old soap and fabric softener that was inside of the drum of the washing machine. Oh, oh, oh. And that is the grossness of the washing machine. This is what it looks like after about an hour of it just sitting and soaking in the vinegar um, water mix. So of course you wanna let it run through the full cycle again after letting it soak for about two hours. And this is the final look. Doesn't she look so cute and clean and pretty and gorgeous? I, I cannot believe I let my washing machine get that gross, y'all. But this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video. And I will see you in the next one.